What's up machine freaks? Today is the day, as you guys heard last night in yesterday's vlog, we are going to blow up a vehicle. Hopefully my old Nissan. I'm really excited about it and I I'm, I'm sure you guys are too. Devin, Kyle, S and I are gonna go ahead and move this vehicle today. There were a couple text messages exchanged which mentioned that this might not happen today, but all I know is I'm just gonna roll with the flow. How are you guys doing today? Good. Doing swell. Good? Is that the trailer we're gonna be using? We're gonna start out with a little sample? Yeah. So where's our sample? Have we made it up yet? I made it up, yeah. You made it up? I made it up. <laughs> it's sitting out there. It's ruined. Ruined. It's out there on the barrel. Holy smokes, and they just ship it like that? That's, yeah. a, that's a hell of a ship job right there. Oh, yeah. so, so that's 50 pounds? Yep. And then how much is this? Five pounds of aluminum powder. And I understand that we're not gonna use all that? Right, yeah. Okay. You're probably only gonna need like two pounds to the 50 pounds. Okay. You already mixed up a already little- mixed up a little sample. I don't know how much, but. Five Just using a little sandwich container. Don't shoot, don't shoot. So now, as you guys are aware, we bought 50 pounds. The price is gonna be distributed evenly among us guys. Uh, Devin, and I don't know if Kyle helped them, but they come up, they came up with a little bit of a sample. I guess they got a nice fancy sandwich container on a barrel that should work perfectly. That probably is, uh, he's probably got it taped up. Oh, that's probably about a pound and a half. That should be a pretty big bang. So this is what the barrel looks like now, if he ends up shooting it. He's about, uh, 50, 60 yards away. Somewhere in 60 range. 60 range. You gonna be able to do this for shot? Well, hold it up. We'll have to edit it, maybe. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to edit it. But it'll be first try, for sure. I'm aiming for the leaf. <laughs> you ain't gonna hit the leaf. Oh, I moved the leaf, so. <laughs> I, I, I picked it up and, and tried to feel how heavy it was. I'm gonna aim right for where the leaf was. Okay, sounds good. Is that bullet gonna, is that bullet gonna, yeah, yeah, you don't need more than one. You should only have one round in that sucker. All right. Is that little bullet going to be able to do this? Yeah, it's about speed. I mean, this isn't a ham sandwich we're talking about. We're talking about some tannerite. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that, was, that was much that was louder. Louder. Yeah, that, The 50 pounds is going to do a lot. Like you guys didn't realize how loud that 22 was. That 22 yeah. didn't, that 22 didn't feel as good as that did. <laughs> And that was only like a pound and a half. You got that a video? You, yeah, you got the good stuff this time. I'm, I'm, I'm glad. We're gonna die. Yeah, I definitely felt the impact. Like I felt a better impact there than the 22 pounds. But the 22 pounds did, yeah, yeah. We were at a further distance, but the 22 pounds did destroy that car pretty good. Oh, dude, that barrel is shot. Say goodbye to that thing. You will no longer be able to shoot a target off of that thing. Oh. <laughs> and it was on top of it. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That was a good barrel. <laughs> that was oh, first okay, try. <laughs> we didn't even have to edit that out. Huh? Was it loud? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. What did I miss saying? I thought like shit, I thought it was right behind me. Yeah. <laughs> no, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah, it's just a dry run. Dry yeah. run. <laughs> the rest is for a rainy day. How the hell do you set it off? Gun. He's like, yeah, I heard it. <laughs> what is this thing? This thing is demolished. It's an old rocker chair. You guys you guys are gonna invest time into this thing? Grim said he wanted the footrest, so they took the footrest off. Yeah, he took everything else off too. Yeah. Doesn't even look like a rocking chair. We'll have her back together in like ten minutes, <laughs> maybe five. And then and then what else do you think you're gonna do with it? You wanna make that into a sled? Yeah. That's gonna be amazing. No, dude, you totally gotta leave it full. And we gotta have like three rows of seats. We can put the, <laughs> we can put the bus seat in the back and the recliner in the front. That, yeah, for sure. <laughs> that thing actually runs? Oh, yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> so we do plan on uh, putting a lot of seats on this thing and then we're gonna hook it up on the back of the Duramax and then go through like snowy fields. Uh, we've done it before. I think it was like two years ago though. You can't pull it with Cummins or nothing. Nah, you have to hook it up to Duramax? Cummins isn't gonna do it? Cummins, Power Stroke, they just won't do it. Oh, okay. 
Yeah. <laughs> it has a free sign out by the road at the top of Hill Street. We run out to get it. We took a snowmobile trailer. We just parked out front in the road, uh -huh. put it on there. We didn't even strap her down. <laughs> I'm sure this wouldn't blow off like a kite or anything. No. <laughs> we're going to take Devin's four wheeler up to try to help load the Nissan. Do you think we're, we're are we going to use this like right away or is this a backup? Game plan. This is the game plan? Okay. This is the game plan. Sounds good. We got it all locked and loaded. We got the ramps loaded. Are we ready to rack? Yeah. Kyle, I like your mountain frost. This Thank this you. looks delicious. Kyle, is this D Max gonna be able to pull this Nissan? Pull the bunch for it. You can pull a Nissan. Now I haven't seen this truck in like two years, you guys, so if there aren't any surprises, it's not going to surprise me. Yep, there's no wheel or rim on this one. Front tire's flat. This tire is brand freaking new. It's flat though too. Hell no, no run. It, uh, it doesn't have a drive shaft. Are you gonna take the trailer off then? I'm excited to see this. I wanna see some D-Max do some, do some work. How you doing, dogs? How you doing today? Good? Yeah. Kyle's gotta take the trailer off first. Today's a very exciting day. I'm glad that I woke up this morning. Every redneck's dream is, is happening today. And even if you're not a redneck, this is this is an awesome day. And I'm glad that you guys can experience it with me. You gotta remember, you guys, safety first. Safety first. Leave those unhooked. This is strictly to entertain you guys. Devin's gonna hook up his four-wheeler to it first. He's not gonna do a single thing but we'll hook it up for you guys. Devin, I personally don't think it's gonna do a single thing, but we can try it. Me neither. Look at that, that's, that's sideways. Uh, not damn thing. Not gonna happen. <laughs> All right, unhooker. Unhooker. Nothing, not a zip. Get the D-Max. Yeah. No surprise that Devin's four-wheeler didn't move the truck. It's been sitting for a long time. I'm sure it's sunk into the ground. It's got two flat front tires, no rear wheels, no rear tires, nothing. All right. He's got the power, just not the traction. Well, Kyle got it out. For some reason, I pushed the wrong button. I didn't record any of it, but he dragged it out like nothing. A lot of you guys probably won't remember this. Um, this was a long time ago. Devin doesn't remember it, he says. Uh, Kyle, on the other hand, he does remember it. Uh, this was the truck that actually went on TV. I ended up getting in a car accident with it. I had it on my dolly, and on the way home, I it somehow rolled off the dolly and crashed into the back of my truck. Kyle's gonna hook up to the front of it now and pull it over to the trailer. This tire is brand new, brand new. Man, I'm, I'm sorry I pushed the wrong button, you guys. I, it towed it so well. I guess you'll see a little bit more of it right now. They're working phenomenally. What's the game plan, boys? We're gonna try our absolute best to work with gravity. There's a slight downhill right here, so Kyle's gonna hook up to the back end now, drag it that way and a little bit backwards, and that way the, the front of the truck will line up to the back of the trailer. What the hell? How's it going? Yeah, it is. We're gonna we're gonna beat the land speed record. Look like Duck Dynasty here. <laughs> oh yeah? yeah. Well, you guys can probably help me. You know what I'm looking for? Shot shotgun shells. What's that? Over here. Got the bird axe, they're cheap. You want that bird axe? Yeah, you got bird axe. Here, you can use it. I get enough of them. I don't want them. You taking off? No attention. 
Okay. Well you, well, you have fun. If you find some shotgun shells, I wish you luck. So we figured it'd be much easier if we just go get tires and wheels for this thing. I think I have two at my house. We're gonna make sure they have air in them and everything. We're gonna have to bring a jack and uh, a tire iron. If you guys want to, we can pick up some more come-alongs too. Well, we're getting thirsty. We've been doing a lot of work. We're gonna break out the mountain frost. You guys want a mountain frost? God, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It even looks like mountain dog. <laughs> yeah, it does. It's, it's, even cold. it's such a copyright infringement. It's it's insane. I'm gonna experience mountain frost for the first time. More serum. More serum. For the price, I think I think it's a wonderful investment. We made it to Kyle's house. We're grabbing some tools. He's got his impact. Do you have a jack? Next stop, my house. There's the BMW, boys. She's down for the count right now, though. Broke down the other day. Yeah, yeah, she's broke down still. Aren't you getting parts? Yep. Waiting on parts. He's done doing her dirty. <laughs> you measure up the PSI? No. Just make it rock solid. This is a brand new tire. Like, look at this. We got some tools from Kyle's. We got some tools from my house. We ended up getting a couple come-alongs. We got the two tires. We're not in a rush. It's all, it's all about the adventure. We're all we're all about the adventure. We don't care about the destination. Safety first, you guys. Let's let's bring some knuckles in here. <laughs> all right, we ready to let this head down? We're ready to rock and roll. Rock and roll. I, I like the Nissan jack points better than the BMW jack points. Ting, ting, ting. Other side, boys. Are them brake pads good? Oh, yeah. Oh, they're, they're superior. Oh. You guys, it changed my mind. We're not going to blow this thing up. I'm going to start driving it. It's all about stays. Whoa, whoa, this is the Nissan. I want to see what this King Quad can do. This is for Suzuki. Again, a little more, not far. A little more, a little rich knot. And I don't think it did too bad, no. con considering the weight yeah. disadvantage. I think we're we're lined up, you guys. That if that isn't gold, I don't know what is. So here's the amazing plan that we have come up with. We are going to put four come-alongs right in a row. Everybody's gonna get their own come-along. We're all gonna have a nice good time. Everybody's gonna start cranking and we're gonna get this truck to the ramps. Whoa! If we were just taking this to the scrapyard, we probably wouldn't invest this much energy into it. But it's because we're blowing it up that we're actually putting some time and energy into it. I'm having a blast. Is anybody else? Our neighbor stopped back by. How does it look? Did, did you think it was going to happen? Well, I was watching down there, but I wasn't paying enough attention, huh? Did you find your shotgun shells? Oh, I got I got a couple messages out. Oh, right, we'll see you later. You guys be okay. Enjoy your day. Take care. Seb did the tie job. She's tied down, hopefully. I give it about a 99% chance that it makes it to the destination, but that 1% hopefully doesn't happen. Can you believe I actually paid like 400 bucks for that thing? Did you ever do anything with it? I drove it like one time. She's good, she's dialed. We made it to the drop-off location, which uh, is Kyle D's, right? Well, he rents it or something. He, he does own it? Yeah. Okay. I'm really excited that we're gonna blow this thing up. I just don't know when. Nobody knows when. But we all gotta get together and blow it up because as I told you guys, we're distributing the cost. So everybody has the right to see it. We just wanna position the Nissan somewhere where it's not gonna be in the way. Just make sure if she starts rolling, Devin, that you get away from her. Oh, yeah. Ramp! That, 
works so good. I give him a pl I give him a thumbs up. I give Devin a thumbs up. There go all the flowers. <laughs> right on point. Yeah, but man, I'm thinking we just take her back to my house, start fixing her up. What are you thinking? Make it into and make it into a trophy truck. You remember what you did before? After it fell off. That's no, dude, she she's tight. Teamwork makes the dream work. Fellow D Max. We're gonna stop and get something to eat. All the fellas are hungry. And then after that, I'm not quite sure what the plan is. But one thing's for sure, this day's going phenomenal. What? It's a good solid park job. There's only like eight parking spots there, dude. You're good. You gotta eat the fries, man. We dropped off the trailer. Everything's all set. We're getting ready to close up shop. Oh, open up the shop. Open up, well, open up the shop for them and listen to Taylor Swift, but I'm taking off. This thing probably missed me all day. Oh, we'll see you guys later. All right. Enjoy your night. Those guys are fun. Well, I hope you guys had as much fun watching this video as I had living it. It was a really fun time. Before I end this video, I just want to ask you guys one question. Do you guys think we should put all 50 pounds in the Nissan? Or do you think we should put like 45 pounds in it and have like a couple one pound bursts for other things? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I really want your input. I'm glad you guys tuned in. Until tomorrow, 3D Machines out.